Evening YouTubers, this is Joel Hunter, aka Gee Machine, and we have now come to the end of a day two of IMTA LA 2018. Um, here is what we did today. I'm gonna go through my little my little my little schedule here. My little schedule. Um Wednesday. So today was improv. Um, and as I said earlier, I, I think I did, um, what I did for this was they wanted to see how you can, how you can react, how, what, with what they give you, how you can make up stuff on the dime, sort of thing. They give you, they give you three things, person, place, and thing, and it's all in a little business type card, but, and I, I was first in line, so I was like, scared out of my mind because I'm like oh man I'm barely gonna have any time to think of something but they did something different this year because last time when they they took you in groups of 10 and the second you were in line they would start handing the card out so the first person that was in line had about a, about a minute to uh Think of something, because the second they, they were the first ones to get the card, they had to think as to what they were gonna do by the time the rest of the cards were handed out. So, but this time, um, like about five minutes before we were, it was about five six minutes before they took us in, um, they gave us the cards. They let us choose one instead of handing one to us. So that was actually a bit of a godsend in my opinion. I liked that because that it gave it gave us a little more preparation. And we were still kind of on our toes because we didn't exactly know how long we were we had when they first gave that to us. But it was about five minutes long and then they called us in. For me, um and, and again you didn't have to incorporate all three for this thing because when once you get that card you're given the three things person place thing um, originally, you had to incorporate all three, but now, and they did this last year, you can incorporate two of the three, but if you can incorporate all three, good for you. So, for me, uh, my person was dancer, my thing was a fishing rod, and the place was a playground. Um... What I incorporated was the playground and fishing rod. Um, <clears throat> I'll, I'll try to recreate it here, so give me a second. <clears throat> Howdy do, fellas. I'm Clam Slackjaw here, and I'm going to show you the best places to fish. Now, some people may not think a playground is a good place to fish, but when the flooding season comes, who? You can find some mighty fine stuff there, and you just like, for example, get up on here on the on the slide. It is the tallest thing, especially the flooding season. You get your line out there, and before long, you oop, you got some. Whoa! Whoa! Look at here! It's the boot I lost last flooding season. Well, folks, like I always say, no, you never know what life floats at you. See you next week. Now it wasn't as long as that, but that's that that was it. And I got I was first in line, so I hope I did good. I didn't go overtime. You that's the other thing about this improv thing is like they the second you because when they call your your number and they name your three items, um that is when they start timing you. You have thirty seconds to do this and that for me when I first did it I that was the trick improv was the trickiest thing for me because every time I did it in practice I was always going over but this time around I think I was better prepared for it and a big big shout out to my wonderful teacher Erin Larson She's the one who's been teaching me these past couple of times of going to INTA, and she's wonderful. Thank you, Aaron, if you are watching this. Thank you, 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 thank you. You probably never get it enough. 
Um, for anybody who lives in the southeast Idaho region, to any of my followers and YouTubers um, who live in the southeast Idaho region and want to, I have been thinking of pursuing acting or, or modeling or dancing or anything, and you get chosen by Seattle Talent, um, you will most likely work with Aaron Larson. Again, one of the best people I have worked with. Or you may end up working with Sharif, an equally fun guy. He's He was the guy here for INTA for our boot camp. Um, for my roommate, he was his trainer for the past six months? Was it six months? Yes, it was six months. So, yeah, but I think I nailed improv. I really think I did, because I got some good chuckles out of the judges. I could see out of the corner of the eye, they're like, just kind of giving me that big smile, kind of the smile, or like the raised eye, they're like, ooh. So, yeah, that was good. Uh, anyway, back to my schedule. Um, Back to Wednesday. Let's see, what else did I do? Um... Actors prepare to compete. That was a good one, too. Very informative. And we had Al Honorado and director Bobby Morosco. Um, he directed the movie, he directed and wrote the movie Crash. And he's got a new one coming out soon. I think he called it Bent. It was shot in Rome and Italy. I think it's coming out this year. Basically, this is, they told their stories of, like, how they got into the acting business. And there was another guy there, was an actor, is like, Paul, I can't remember his last name. He was on Fame. He was on the show Fame. And he was, he was a little kid. And there was another, there was something else. I think he was also on Baywatch? No, 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 no. It was either Al or Bobby who helped to direct Baywatch and also helped direct, uh, I think it was Al. Al helped to direct the final season of Wild Wild West and um, I think the first season, I think it was casting director, first season of Baywatch. First or second season, somewhere around there. Um, that was an informative one. And then, let's see, the next thing I did was the three P's of auditioning. And this was done by David Vando for our, the New York Film Academy. He was basically telling us the three P's of auditioning, and I wrote them down. Let's see if I can remember them. I need to pull it out first. <laughs> I need to be a little more prepared for this, don't you think? <laughs> All right, let's see here. So the first P is passion. Um, if you're not passionate about what you're doing, don't do it. You're probably not in the right field. And then the other, like an example, would be William Shakespeare. He was passionate about what he did. And then the second P is preparation. Prepare yourselves. Um, practice and all that. To hone your skills so that you will be ready for the moment of that you will suddenly get a job doing what you want to do. Acting, dancing, modeling, singing, writing, all that stuff. And the last one is perseverance. Don't give up. Power through. Do, don't, don't give up on your dreams. Keep up with it. And, yeah, everything that Perseverance is about. And then after that, um, we had a little one-on-one -on -one with him um, for our monologues. He chose about, see, about six. I was the second person up and went through my monologue. And I was noticing that everybody else, when he was working with them, he had to stop them a few times. Um, to like show them how where to put their inflections, who are they talking to, and 
he didn't necessarily have to do that with me, I noticed, because he let me do it my first time, because he let, he let everybody that had the monologue do it first, do the first run through, and then he would do it like a second or third time. He would do it a second time, but have you do it a little differently. In my case, he had it like, it was like I, I was on a close-up doing my monologue, and I could just see the look on his face. He was like, wow. I could just He just had that wow expression. And I probably, I, I, I may be exaggerating, I don't know, and I'm not meaning to toot my own horn, but I think I got the most applause and cheers from everybody in that seminar. And as well for uh, when I did the monologue, which happened a little bit ago, but first, uh, but before I get into that, let's see what the next thing I did was, um, singers and dancers prepare to compete, kind of like, uh, the actors prepare to compete seminar, but it was directed to people who were singing and dancing. I was a little late to that because it was cut because the, uh, the three P's of auditioning seminar, um, cut into the first half hour of this, so I kind of missed that. But it was it was all right. How to be prepared for singing? How to get your self confidence up? And then finally, for me tonight, it was my it was my spotlight. I did the monologue competition, and again, I was first in line. Who'd have thunk? Um, and what I did was, let's see if some people can guess it without my telling them. <clears throat> ah, how should I do it? Oh, I know. I'll turn him into a flea. A harmless little flea. And then I'll put that flea into a box. And then I'll put that box inside of another box. And then I'll mail that box to myself. And when it arrives, oh, when it arrives, I'll smash it with a hammer! Oh, it's brilliant, 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 I tell you! Genius, I say! Or, to save on postage, I'll just poison him with this! Take it, Igor! Oh, feel the power! Our moment of triumph approaches! Ah! <laughs> it's dinner time! I did that, and I could see, like, I got a lot of chuckles and snickers, and some of the judges, like, doing this, because I, I noticed that out of the corner of my eye when I first did this last year when I did the Grinch's schedule scene that Jim Carrey was in, and I won the monologue division last time. I cannot say it enough. I really can't. I won that division last year. Here's fingers crossed that I may... I may win this time around. There was actually some other people that were pretty funny in it, <laughs> doing their monologue. So yeah, and oh, today they had the announcement of who was to go next into the singing competition to move up to round two. I made it again. I got to round two and it's tomorrow morning. I will be doing it tomorrow morning, so. Fingers crossed that I can actually get past it this time. Because last year, I got as far as the second round. I got honorable mention. But I flubbed the first few seconds of it. I lost my timing. Because I sang Le Poisson last time. This time, I'm singing You Ain't Never Had a Friend Like Me from Aladdin. So... Again, <sighs> I really hope this time I can pull it off and get to round three, the finals. So yeah, and that was it for for day two of IMTA. Um, I cannot tell you how many kids came up after me after I had done my monologue in that seminar with David Vando, David Vando, that's right, 
David Van. Yes, David Van Doe. Not Van Gogh. Van Doe. Um. Anyway, I had a lot of kids coming up after me, like saying, "Oh my gosh!" And some of that, and this was something that I was told to do was, I, I didn't do my monologue almost word for word. I did a few things that were a little different. And for some of you who know what I did, kudos to you, because <laughs> some of them are like, "Is it what I think it is?" And I'm like, "Yeah," and they're like, "Oh." <gasps> And some of them are like, I was really hoping to hear hear this one voice. It's a deep voice. But, uh, I think I can do it right now. Maybe give you guys a bit of a hint. <laughs> but anyway, yeah, that was it for day two. And day three is gonna start off with a bit of a bang, hopefully. And I did want to mention this earlier today I, I like I said in the last vlog um I had the f I had uh this morning recorded but for some reason my webcam uh just decided to put the visual and audio out of sync I don't know what happened because it was working just fine it's this past week and weekend Murphy's Law has been playing hard against me, and I mean hard. It's like there's something out there that just wants me not to succeed, but it's not going to happen. I'm praying right now that whatever is being thrown at me gets dispelled. But anyway, last year, um, we were, I wanted to get like a souvenir for INTA, but unfortunately, by the time me and my mom, because my mom joined me during the first first time, there was nothing in my size at the boutique, at the IMTA boutique. But fortunately, was able to find something this time. It is a type of hoodie jacket. It's a hoodie jacket. There's a little hoodie here. And there's the symbol, right? There's a little logo right here. So yeah, and it's very comfy. It's it's a little baggy on me, but um, it's like 50% cotton, so it might shrink a little. Fingers crossed. And then um, they also gave me an INTA tote bag. It came with the shirt, so that's that's good. That's good. I've got a little. I got a little souvenir. <laughs> and. I think that covers everything. Oh, um, that reminds me. Um, Kashish. Kashi. Kashi. Kashi? I keep forgetting her name. Um, again, it is really great to meet you, Kashi. And fun, too. And to find out why you, uh, why you follow me is actually kind of interesting. I was not expecting that, to be honest. Um, there was one other person as well. I'm trying to find it right here on my computer. And just so you know, I'm actually recording off of my phone right now. So I'm sorry for the bad sound quality. I, I don't normally record from my phone. So, yeah. Um, this other person right here. Manju Reddy. I have no idea who you are. I hope to run into you again um, sometime later this week before INTA's out. Because I'm having a hard time trying to remember where I met you or who you were. So, again, try hitting me up later this week. Because I would like to meet you before we disband after this is done. Well, that's it for today. I'll see you guys tomorrow morning for day three of IMTALA 2018. See you later, guys. Again, thank you for your support. Peace out.